But, Rob, another former player who's now an NFL analyst and more, LaShawn McCoy, who uh, is now one of the co-hosts of Speak, formerly Speak for Yourself. He's on uh, FS1, actually right after my show, First Things First. And um, he has been outspoken, Rob, uh, particularly against Eric Bieniemy, who, as we all know, uh, despite being the offensive coordinator for two of the Chiefs Super Bowl wins, their last two, their first two in, what, nearly 50 years, he has uh, caught flack from McCoy. He's not been able to get a head coaching job. He had to go to Washington uh, just recently to become their offensive coordinator and call plays, which he didn't do for the Chiefs. And uh, if that goes well in Washington, the you know, people think he could prove himself and get a head coaching job. But McCoy, Rob, has been very uh, negative about the enemy. Now, remember, McCoy played for the Chiefs when the enemy was there. And uh, here's what he said about Eric the enemy. What's his value? What makes him a good offensive coordinator? The problem is a lot of these people that go on social media – he should be the guy for the job. They haven't played there. I've been in the rooms where he's coaching and he has nothing to do with the pass game at all. When the plays are designed, that's Andy Reid. When you talk about offensive coordinators, I can tell you what makes Brian Dable with the Giants a very good coordinator. I can tell you about Andy Reid or Doug Peterson. But Eric Bieniemy, what makes him good? When we watch the film of practices, and we correct the wide receivers, the running backs, the quarterbacks. He doesn't talk in there. Andy Reid talks in there. That's some strong stuff, Rob. Now, several of the Chiefs players, former players, took issue with LaShawn McCoy's comments. Jamal Charles, who's the Chiefs' all-time leading rusher, was a tremendous running back. Uh, he said this about McCoy on Twitter. I have to disagree with you, Shady. That's... LaShawn McCoy's nickname, Shady. Bienemy coached me four years. I learned so many things from Eric Bienemy, called him EB, and I still keep in contact with him. A great husband and father. He deserves to be a head coach. Tyron Matthew, Rob, another former Chiefs player, the safety, he said, man, you effed up with it. That, uh, that tweet was retweeted by several players. He said, former Chiefs or, okay, here's Tyreek Hill. He said this about McCoy, Rob. He said it's personal with uh, LaShawn and Bienemy. He said Shady is mad because Eric Bienemy told him, tuck that ball. Remember, when, when LaShawn was in Kansas City, he had trouble with fumbling. Uh, he lost two costly fumbles in, in two of their losses, and then his playing time was cut down, and he wasn't even active, Rob. For the Super Bowl and win, and you know he was sick year. over that, Chris. Can you? you oh know yeah, what that not was? even active, right? Because McCoy even... was a really good running back in Philadelphia. Right. So yeah, so that's that's the situation. And what are your thoughts? I mean, basically, I mean, certainly Tyreek is saying that this is personal with Lashawn. So you really got to take what he says about the enemy with a grain of salt. Yeah, I mean, it, this is where we talk about it all the time, Chris. It's not that he can't criticize Eric Bieniemy. He can. That's not the issue. We want people, if you're going to be an analyst and you're going to critique people and you have insight, you were in the room or whatever. But, Chris, this is why, and I tell people this all the time, there's a difference between us and them, and I hate to use that term. There is. We don't have a horse in the race. We didn't play in the league. This is the same group of players where 120 of them didn't vote for LeBron James to be rookie up to be on the All Star team, Chris. That's personal. How could you look at basketball in an exhibition game and not vote for LeBron James? That's personal. Right. That's why you have to take some of this stuff with a grain of salt. And the same way when people overpraise other guys. Dan Orlovsky was the backup quarterback in Detroit with Matthew Stafford. Chris, he went overboard the other way for Stafford. Oh, Stafford should be in the Hall of Fame. Where's that talk? 
Do you see what I'm saying? He's friendly yep. with Matthew Stafford. And there's nobody to push Shady McC- push back. Where's the pushback? When Shady says that, Chris, that's fine. But what would be great was, is this personal because you got benched and you weren't uh, active in the in the Super Bowl or you lost your well, playing time? Thing. Like, like that and, has and, to be addressed. And I'll to say at this, least bro. know, Chris, where people sort of people have that, then they can decide whether this is real or is this should I take this with a grain of salt because he has an axe to grind. If you don't know that, yeah. you might just buy into it and say, "Well, Shady played for him. He knows he's a bum," and that's what all the anti Eric Bieniemy people are running with. That's what they run with because Shady said it. Yeah, and and look, it's. You were generalizing because all athletes aren't like that. I didn't say Charles all. Charles Barkley lost his friendship with And that's Michael why Jordan most of the players hate Charles critical. Barkley, though. Right, because he's Kendrick honest. Perkins was a teammate with Kevin Durant and was critical of KD. And that caused a little tension, a little beef between those two. Um, so there are players that, you know, will, will do that. And then, Rob, there's media members. That are that do the bidding sometimes of agents, right? And and they're players, and because it's a good source, so it's not all black and white like that. But your point is well taken. If you are a whether you're a former player or just a fellow panelist, maybe you didn't play in the league. If Shady McCoy says what he says about Eric Bieniemy, and you're on the show with him. You could bring up, well, look, you were in Kansas City. It didn't go well. You know, they they benched you. You were fumbling a lot. You weren't even active for the Super Bowl. Right. It, does that have anything to do, Shady, with your opinion? And so, like you said, Rob, then he can clear it up. No, absolutely not, whatever. Or, yeah, you know what I ain't feeling, dude? Yeah, I didn't like right. that. No, so, right. and like and then you said, this way, then we can make our judgment of whether or not you're telling the truth. Exactly. We Then we could feel like, okay, uh, then this there, there's a root from this. We haven't heard this from other players, just shady. I don't, I don't, I don't know anybody else on the record. Chris is very, uh, very, un, you don't hear players bash coaches like that. It's just, it's very, most of the players who bash a coach publicly is because something didn't go right when they were there. You know what I mean? Like, you just don't hear that. So if Shady would have played, Chris, played in the Super Bowl, won a, won, uh, they lost that Super Bowl, but played, and played well, and that was his take, it would be it would sound different, wouldn't it? It would, it would just feel different if he was in the Super Bowl, yeah. didn't fumble, and played well, and he still had bad things to say about Eric Bieniem. I hope, and I don't know, but I hope, and they, they won it in 2019, you know, the game played in 2020. But I hope, Rob, that Shady is not, like, that this is not personal. And I don't hope that because I, I don't want Eric Bennett being to me to get a job. Obviously, I want him to get a job um, because I, I I don't have to believe what Shady's saying, right? Uh, you can out enough guys that are supporting being to me for you to easily be able to say, Nah, I think I think Shady's wrong. Right. But I hope, Rob, he is not doing this for personal reasons. And here's why. One, it's just cold-blooded, right? Chris, but absolutely two, cold-blooded if to he, stop somebody from getting an opportunity. Well, that's the thing. He's being used right. by those who don't want to hire Eric B. Yes. They don't care a dang thing about Shady McCoy. They don't they may just not want to hire B and me. And and we we and others have said it's because he's black, and they can say this black player. That's exactly saying being to me don't know what he's doing. So look, if 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 Shady really feels that way for purely objective reasons, fine. But if you just are upset because he didn't play you, and now you're allowing the establishment, if you will, to use you to use you to keep another black man down, shame on you. 
If 100%. that's the case, I don't know that it is. But no, 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 one hundred percent. I would say shame on you if that is it, and you're denying and publicly denying a man an opportunity because of something that happened with you. You're better off, Chris, don't staying come. out of that. Yep. Just, just staying yeah, out right. of that. If you I'm know you serious. can't say because you're upset that you're going to say something that's foul and it's not deserved, it, you just want to get back at him, then just stay out of it. Just stay out just of stay, it. Stay you out don't of have it. to endorse him, Chris, if you don't believe right. it. Am I right? That, right. that could, just I have nothing... I'm not. I, I can't endorse Eric Bieniemy, or I, or I have nothing. to I, say. I don't have any comment on it. You know, that's it. He's in the interview, right? Just just stay out of it. And here we will say this, Rob. Shady has been very outspoken about he called, other players. He's he called Dak British. ass. You yeah, remember that? He tore through Dak Prescott, and so Shady just does say he's not afraid to say what he wants to say. So maybe this these are his true feelings. I yeah, don't the, know. I, the only I, I hope he's is, not doing this for personal reasons. The only reason that it's hard to believe that, Chris, and his criticism is because of what happened with him with the Chiefs. I, I, you can't tell me as a, as a player, you just said he was a great player with the Eagles, to, to not be active for the Super Bowl is the ultimate slap in the face. Yeah, Just the it, it, it could. Yeah, I, again, I don't know, but somebody should ask him that when he says that on the show. I don't know where he said it, but he should be asked about it. So can we? You know, are you really telling the truth? Are you being objective, or is this personal? Just that's it. 